Look at that, guys. It has platinum and polonium inside of it. So I should be looking at a pretty good penny for that. So uh, stay tuned. All right, so guys, uh, I just went to the scrapyard. I got $3 for the aluminum. And uh, I do have another receipt here that I want to show you guys. Check it out, man. Look it. I brought some light iron inside of this place, and I only got $7 for it, which is a lot. It's, it's good. Man, look at the catalytic converter, man. Woo-wee. $70, baby. I'm telling you right now, guys, this is why I scrap my metal that I pull out of the rivers. I'm telling you. This is where to go. Catalytic converters, they can actually price up to like $500 at a scrapyard. That's because of the platinum and the polonium that's inside of these things. That's why everybody's going around cutting these things off. So be careful. Watch out for your exhaust system. But holy cow, man. I got this from Magnificent. Man, yesterday... That was treasure that I pulled out of that river. I am so happy. So, just to let you guys know, that is what you're supposed to do when you go magnet fishing. You take everything you can and go scrap it. All right? I hope this helps everybody. Man, oh man, 80 bucks. That is a beautiful thing. All right, so guys, listen to this. I'm about to restore the uh, the item that I got um, my last trip. The sword, yeah, it got a sword and the sheathing came with it. So I'm very excited about this. I'm about to use a new product and let's see how it works out, all right? So stay tuned. All right, so there's the sword, there's the sheathing and uh, we're about to see what we can do with it. All right, guys, look at this, it's super clean foaming tough task cleaner degreaser dissolves grease super easy super fast so we're gonna check it out and see what it does to this sword and sheathing look this is the last time you'll see it like this guys i think this stuff is gonna clean up really nice i'm super excited about it so let's try it out i do want to point out if you do use this it says danger may cause burns to eyes and skin harmful if swallowed read cautions on back panel and it's biodegradable detergent there it is guys going inside right now hopefully that eats up all the nasty stuff on the items just gonna give it a sit and uh, check it out in a little bit guys hey uh, I don't know if you guys have been paying attention and watching my videos but if you have you'll notice that bridge right there that's the one that I actually had to go in the water grab my magnet from underneath the bridge um, yeah I'm over here on the other side of that bridge right now let's see what we can find stay tuned all right first toss guys let's see what we got Well, looks like something is on my line. I don't know what that is, guys, but it's a piece of wood. Oh, kind of looks like it's from the bridge. Doesn't it look like it? Check that out, guys. Look at that. That's pretty cool. 
All right, so guys, I switched it up. I'm at a nice place right now. There's a lot of history on this place. It used to be a sawmill right here. So not too sure if anybody knows the area. This is in East Adam. So this is a little history of this place, the third privilege. And I'm in East Dedham right now, and East Dedham was also known as the Mill Village. There's actually used to be a mill right here where I'm standing. So there's a lot of history, guys, about this place. It's pretty cool. There's no mill here now. So yeah, you guys can read that, but yeah, um, so it's called the Historic Walking Trail. It's a pretty nice area. There is a tree that actually fell in the water. I guess that's not supposed to be there. But other than that, looks like a pretty nice area. So it's all new looking. It's from uh, 2002. They rebuilt it, I guess. That's what it says over there. Maybe it's even earlier than that on this side. Not too sure. Looks to me right here on this side of the bridge. It said 2002, but I'm not too sure about this side. This side looks a little later than 2002. It uh, looks fairly recent on this side, but that's where the sawmill used to be. So let's see what we can find. And if you guys haven't seen the episode on Chronicle, don't worry, I'm gonna post that link down below on this video. Let's get magnificent, enough talking. All right, first throw guys. Guys, I know you love this. Time for the grappling hook. Make sure she's tight. And let's see what our magnet's stuck on right here, right here. I just threw my grappling hook in and my magnet is on something right here. I'm gonna try to pull them in together and uh, hopefully I get whatever this is. Seems like it's coming guys. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty heavy. I'll tell you that much. Oh my, look at that guys. That's a big old pipe. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that bad boy. Oh, maybe I can. Very carefully, I guess. All right, so carefully, carefully. Look at that, guys. Oh, look at that. Nice. That's cool, man. Look at that. That nice 10 foot piece right there, guys. Check that out. That's awesome. All right, guys, little word of advice. If you are feeling a tug, if that thing starts moving and you feel it's too heavy to pick up with your magnet, then throw your grappling hook in. But if you do not feel it moving, your rope is so tight, you can't move it, and uh, your magnet pops off, do not throw your grappling hook in, guys, or you're going to lose it. Just a word of advice. So I got a spring guys, <laughs> the spring has sprung, oh, it broke actually, oh, wrong one, Thanks to Jay, he gave me the scraper. He's with Avery and Dad Adventures. Right here, Avery and Dad Adventures. Oh, it's backwards. Well, you get what I'm talking about. I'm gonna put a link down in the description for him. He hooked me up with that and it's a good one to clean your magnets off and stuff. And it's on like a pole chain and everything. 
I love it. I use it all the time now. What do I got here? Oh, look at that. I got a big bolt. Probably when they uh, when they built the bridge. Or it could have been the other bridge that was here. Who knows? That's pretty cool though. Alright guys. So check this out. My magnet stuck on something really, really good. It's very strong. So, I'm going to throw my grappling hook in now. And I'm going to see what my uh, magnet is stuck on right now. So... Let's try to pull it up a little bit. Grab it with my grappling hook and my magnet and pull up. Wow, look at that, guys. Holy cow. What the heck? Huh. Huh. That's a fence. That's a fence, man. How the heck am I going to get that? Probably not going to be able to get that, guys. To be honest with you, it's very, very heavy. All right, guys. I'm at a new spot right now. Hopefully, I can get something over here. The other side, not too much. So, let's see what we can find over here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it. I don't know. Well, we'll see. I just grabbed onto something else. Uh oh. I think I just grabbed my magnet. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. You don't do that, guys. You don't throw your magnet in and get stuck on your other magnet. You just don't do that. Good thing there was leaves and stuff that was on there that stopped it from doing anything. Something's on there, guys. Let's see what it is. Oh man, what is that? Uh, uh. Piece of angle iron or something? A beam. Probably for the bridge. Check that out guys. Probably cut it off and threw it in the water. Like, we don't need that piece. Hi, guys. Hey, what's going on, man? What's your name? Alejandro. Alejandro. Yep. Man, that's an awesome scooter. Yeah. What, do you rent them? No. This is a, I actually bought this. You're kidding me. Yeah. That's awesome. And it just goes by itself? Yeah. Let me see. Ride it, ride it over there. Oh, look at that, guys. That is so awesome. <laughs> that's so cool. Come on back. Let me see that. Wow, look at that. That is so cool, man. Let me see that. How many miles? Is that miles? Yeah. Like miles that shows how fast you go. This is to go? Yeah. All right, let me let me try this bad boy. Ready, guys? You guys have to, like, scoot off first. Okay. Oh, this is so cool, man. Look at that, guys. I'm, I'm riding a scooter right now. <laughs> That's so awesome. I love it. <laughs> wow. That's exciting, man. Wow. Man, how much a thing like this go for? $300. $300? That's it? Yeah. Man, that's awesome. Yeah. It's a Jetson? Yeah. Wow. Alejandro, thank you so much for letting me drive that. That was so cool. Thank you. What's that? I said thank you. Oh yeah, no worries, man. Hope you guys find some. Guys, what is that that I just found? What is that? Ah, oh, it's another piece of uh, maybe the bridge or something that they cut off. Not too sure. Kind of looked like a bike pedal at first when I pulled it up. 
But I know it's not. It's got to be part of the bridge. Alright guys, I feel something weighing down on my magnet. Let's see what it is. Oh yeah, I got something. What is that? That's some kind of you? Look at that. I don't know what I don't know what that is, you guys. It's uh it's not a horseshoe because that's way too big for a horseshoe. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe a bent piece of reba. Doesn't look like reba though, because uh reba, you know, has the lines on it. So it's a bent piece of pipe, that's what it is. That's what we're gonna call it. And check that out guys. Look how big that nut is. That's a big nut. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at that, guys. I got myself a fork. A Valco fork. Huh. What if it's silver? Who knows? Maybe it's from back in the day? I don't know. That would be nice. What is that, guys? Some kind of bar. I don't even know what to think of that one. You got a flat cap on that side. And then like, looks like a crutch. But, I'm not too sure. There's a cap right there. That's weird. If you know what it is, drop it down in the comments, will ya? No idea what that is. Well, I got something. I threw in my single-sided guys. And I got something on my magnet. What is that? What is that? What is that, guys? Is that a gas tank? No. Guys, is that an iron? Did I just find an iron? Look at that. What? No way. What? Wait a minute. All right, guys. Um, yeah. Look at that. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but look at that thing. It's got, I think that's the electrodes for this, this is an iron, guys. I know that the Kinsler Bros found an iron, uh, and they watch my videos, so, guys, what do you think? You think that's an electronic iron right there? From back in the day? That's so cool. Wow, it's heavy too. Wow. Alright, hold on guys. I'm going to iron my clothes. 
<laughs> man, that's awesome. That's a keeper. I caught this bad boy right here. One small piece. Now let's cut this bad boy again. Right here in the middle. Alright guys, I just cut it up to three sections so I can now take it with me and throw it in my trailer. So uh, guys, just want to let you know, I'm a trained professional when it comes to tools. Okay, I've been working with tools for all my life. So uh, if you guys are brand new to it, just make sure you either have a friend or somebody nearby just in case anything happens, okay? Just wanted to put that out there. Alright guys, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button down below. I hope that you guys like this uh, video. And like I said, the Chronicle segment is going to be down below in the description. Alright guys, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.